Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Phantom HD. So I'm going to show you a quick video how to install the OT Scaler to Silent Hill 2 Remake. So first you're going to, you need to copy a file. Uh, so you're going to go to your C driver or to your local disk. And then you're going to go to Windows. Uh, on Windows, you're going to go to System32. So you need to get uh, System32. So you're going to go here. And then you're going to look for this file. I already have it right here, but uh, you can search it. So MD XCFF and it's going to appear. So it's going to be this one. So you're just going to copy it and paste it. Okay, and then I recommend to have it on the same OptiScaler folder. The, all these files are for the OptiScaler. And now you're going to install it to the sign in here. So you're going to go right here, manage, uh, browse local files. So right here, you're going to go to S Edge Proto and then binaries, Windows 64. And right here, uh, you're going to install, you're going to copy all these files and then paste it on these folders. So you want to put paste, replace, and then after you co uh, paste all the files, uh, you're going to OT scale setup. So you're gonna put because it's not Windows uh sin is not a Windows signature uh, program, so more info uh right anyway. And right here you're gonna press number one uh auction and then press enter because you have MD Intel, so it's gonna be number one. And you have NVIDIA, so press two, but we have MD, so it's gonna be one, so continue because we stole it. So now you can close this. I'm going to start the game so I can show you how to enable it. Okay. So, and also hopefully you can see the difference, uh, but you're going to put insert on your keyboard to open it. And hopefully you can see the difference uh, of the uh, of scaler. I do on my monitor. I do see a big difference. So I'm going to show you. Especially at the beginning, uh, you can see that everything is very flickery, uh, especially the lights and the corners of every item. So even right here in this light, <laughs> you can see it's moving, but uh, you can see a lot of flickering and everything right here. I'm not able to see that it's a lot like a lot of flickering around the light but it's supposed to be just uh, the red light in the middle and everything oh, especially all the corner light right here the metal you can see it's moving they're not supposed to be moving uh, probably because of the ray tracing and the lockers too you can see you can see a little bit flickering around them uh, let me go right here real quick on the cans like if you stare at the cans you can see they're kind of moving uh, right here too the bottle you can see the lights like little dots hitting in and out and that's the table on the corner you can see the light is moving so let's try so you can see what, what kind of difference it's gonna make so insert I'm gonna select the FSR3 and apply and that's when you're gonna see the difference and you can see it right here that is on so you can leave it like it is all the settings are already out there for you so but now if you get closer also you can see the fan is no longer flickering looks normal like a normal game the light also looks that you're looking through the light through the glass now so right here there's no flickering either and uh, if I go even right here in the light you can see now it's, you can see it's moving but it's not flickering and if I go to the cans also you don't see it anymore so I'm gonna do a video with zoom so you can see it more clearly uh, right now even the bottle doesn't have those little dots now it's real life for ray tracing amazing so thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day